and welcome to Sunday morning with me. Um, it's pretty low key here this morning. My husband's off with his buddies, so it's just the kiddos and me. So I have, oh, and our dog. But I have my coffee. I've taken my plexus and my cleanse, and now I'm ready to start my day. Um, hi, babies. And these little girls, let me, oh, they just fell. They're almost walking. They are so close. Um, but it, it has been a gloomy weekend. It has been so rainy and thunderstorms, and there's going to be more thunderstorms later on today. And it has just been just dark and gloomy. So I am making, um, bacon <laughs> for breakfast because who doesn't love bacon um to brighten everyone's morning um and i'm going to show you i know it sounds mundane oh <laughs> she's making bacon i'm making it for blt sandwiches because it's more like 9 30 10 so it's kind of like brunch and i'm going to show you the way i do it because if you've ever had a blt and you put your bacon on and everything. You take one bite and the bacon crumbles and like goes everywhere out of your sandwich. Or at least it does on ours. So I found a way to keep all the bacon together. And then we bake it in the oven instead of in a frying pan. So that it gets done evenly all the way around. And let me tell you, I don't know where this has been my whole life. I've been doing it this way for about... Two years, I guess, I've been doing my bacon this way. I'll never go back. I will never go back to doing it on the stove because it is just so delicious doing it in your oven. So I hope you guys stick along with me for this quirky little video on how to make bacon in an oven and have it keep on your sandwich. So um, subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> and um, I hope you guys like this fun little video. And check out my links below, um, and my Facebook, and, uh, my Zaycon, um, I have a few things down there. Oh, I have my Plexus, uh, link down there in case you're wanting, um, to know more about that. You can shoot me an email. My email's down there. Um, if you have questions on that, it's wonderful plant-based products. Um, it's all about gut health and probiotics and, um, weight loss just all different things rolled into one it's like a all-in-one thing um but yeah so let's get started on that bacon all righty so let's get started on this bacon um there's my bacon i cut my bacon in half um right out of when i take it out of my freezer or fridge or whatever i cut it in half because that way <clears throat> It'll fit into a bag, um, and then it'll stay good. Because we love bacon, and so we will use bacon pretty quickly. Um, but still, I'd rather have it in an airtight container versus just folded and sitting in my fridge. Um, and I am using a cast iron skillet because you can use these in the oven. And I'm really trying to get away from using anything other than cast iron. Um my uh dutch oven which is uh ceramic coated and then uh steel stainless steel i'm trying to make it to where those are the only things that we have to cook on um because it's just it's better for you the stuff that they put to make things non-stick it's scary um, so we just much rather have it like this. Plus, cast iron, you're getting, now granted it's a small amount, but you're getting remnants of iron in your food because of you cooking on iron. So it's a health benefit. No, I mean, you can't go wrong. Um, oh, and just because I was so excited about it, um, and I wanted to ask you guys, I, since I've been trying to do this with the cast iron, it's been taking a while because it's expensive. I have a 10 inch, a 12 inch, and then I have my, um, my little press and my 
whatever that is, griddle. But I was wanting to get a bigger pan and then I wanted to get some all cast iron Dutch ovens to where when I cook outside during the summer, um, I can do that. Well, it's like 60 bucks for the Lodge brand, which is what I have. That's what all these, well, that's Pioneer Woman. But the rest are all Lodge. And they're expensive. But yesterday, my husband and I were at Walmart, and what's the brand? Ozark Trail, I think was the brand. But they had a 15-inch cast iron skillet for $17. And then they had a 5-quart Dutch oven that was, uh, that had the, the feed on it for $17. And I about lost my crap. <laughs> like, you would have thought I was a kid in a candy store looking at all this cast iron stuff for that cheap. Um, and so I wanted to ask before I go back and buy it because I'm planning on going back and buying um, two pots and then that big 15 uh, inch pan. But have any of you guys used that brand? I think that's what it's called. Ozark Trailer. Something to that effect. But it was in the camping aisle at Walmart. Not the cooking. The camping aisle. And it was like 17 or 18 bucks. So if it's a good quality cast iron. Which I mean it was heavy. So I don't know how you do your grade of cast iron. But it was really heavy. I'm going to buy some. Because that's an amazing deal. And if you take care of them they last forever. Um, so yeah, enough babbling about my, uh, <laughs> about my cast iron, but seriously, if you know anything about it, let me know, because I'm planning on stocking up on some of the things that I'm wanting from that aisle, if it's a decent brand. But this is, um, back to the bacon, this is how we do the bacon. As you've seen me do, uh, the past couple minutes, as I've been babbling, you basket weave your bacon pieces and again I cut the pound of bacon that I had just still in the container uh, or still in the package unopened cut it right in half and then I basket weaved um, let's see one two three four five eight pieces so that would be four pieces of bacon okay so four pieces of bacon cut in half and then you basket weave it like this um, and I have it in a oven safe dish now, you're going to turn your oven to 400 degrees. Hold on, baby. Excuse me. And then <clears throat> put your bacon in a cold oven. And then you're going to let it go for 10 minutes. Um, for mine, my stove usually takes about 10 minutes. Um, around that time, just go ahead and check it. And make sure that it's um, done. If not, um, just watch it closely because bacon will, um, which it's the same on a stove top, it goes from done to black in a very short time. So just watch it. Um, but the way that I usually tell, I have my timer set for 10 minutes, but if you can smell the bacon, it's usually done. So if I'm sitting or, you know, cleaning or something and I smell the bacon, I check it. Because 9 times out of 10, the bacon's done. So, trust your nose. Um, so, yeah. I will bring you back whenever we are assembling our sandwiches. Right? Right. Alrighty, guys. So, our bacon is done. And let me... Do, do. Look at that. Perfectly done all over and then even better look at that fits perfectly on your uh, bread now as I was getting ready to assemble my BT because we don't like lettuce on ours I realized that I don't have any more fresh tomatoes so I will show you one of the ways I use my tomato jam and it is to dress up a BLT. <clears throat> I have my homemade mayonnaise and then I just put 
a dollop of my tomato jam and there you have it that's one of the ways that I use it um, it is a great condiment and it gives you that tomato flavor on your bacon sandwich mm. and guys that is so good and see nothing fell out who doesn't love that kind of sandwich when nothing falls out? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys try it for yourself. Because this is one of the few meals right now. Because I have a very picky... He used to not be picky, but now he is. Picky son. He's going through that stage, but... If you make it fun and exciting, then he'll eat it. So, he loves these sandwiches just because of the way the bacon is so just think out of the box sometimes so I will see you guys next time for another recipe or DIY or canning video thanks for